Kakebu. Kakebu, that was 1906. They have discovered one of the interesting aspects in life and they proposed in that part that it is not like any sort of software which you can download. It is talk about that sort of thing. If you take a journal, if you just take a paper and pen and you can apply that philosophy, you can add some of the interesting thing. Now, first of all, the Kakebu concept say that we have to, first of all, if you want to manage your financial life, first of all, you need to have a clarity of goal in yourself. What exactly is you are being looking for? What exactly is the amount you would like to save for yourself? What exactly is the amount which you are being targeting yourself towards the year end? So first of all, you have to bring a bit of clarity because the specific goals give you a specific results and the vague goals give you a vague result. So that is one of the interesting thing that identify first, establish a clarity of goals, the financial goal in terms of your saving or investment, whatsoever you would like to achieve towards the year end. Then they identify one of the interesting aspects. They said, in our life, there are certain type of expenses which we make. There are certain type of expenses which we made. And these type of expenses fall under two main categories. Two main categories. One of the category is what is said, this is our needs. Means some of the things which are being essential for us, which we must have to make and then the other category it said these are our wants so one is our need second is our want now if you look into that part what actually come under our need so for example my need is to have a food i need to have a shelter my need is to have some uh, money for the medicine etc my need to have a, uh, some of the uh, expenses for my kids schooling etc so if you identify there are certain needs you can identify quite easily what exactly you need to have in order to uh, i mean to say go through life so there are certain need but interesting philosophy, they said, there is no domain, there is no upper limits on the want side. So there is no upper limit on the wants. So wants is my desires, which actually it pop up every time if I fulfill some of the things and I look around, I found someone else is having something better than myself. Maybe they are having a better car, a better mobile, etc. So it, it, it instantly goes into my want. And when it goes into my want, so that desire actually has no end to it. And it keep on increasing onto that part because it has a successive level and I'm not being able to fulfill that. Now, one of the differentiating feature, what Kakabo concept said, it said needs are always internally driven internally driven i mean to say i can look into my self and i can identify what are my needs so i i can identify that what exactly i need to have in order to go through my life so these are internally driven wants it said wants are always externally driven they are being the externally driven so for example this wants, I got it from my society, from the standards which have been around and the people who have been stuck into that rut, they are having a miserable life because the wants does not have any full stop anywhere. I hope it sounds sense what I'm trying to say over here. So first of all, he said, in order to achieve this thing, you have to categorize your, your expenses or your uh, whatsoever the uh, expenditures you are making into four main categories and what are those four main categories it has identified the first category it said that you have to identify what are your essentials mean what are your must have essential what are your ex essential expenses number two it said that you have to identify what are your optional expenditures mean in which you have a choice that you can, if you want to go for it or you don't want to go for it, you can decide about it. These are your optional one. The third one they identified that which are for your entertainment and for your layer. So the third expense is your entertainment and your layer. The fourth expense it identified that the fourth expense is your extra or any unforeseen, any emergency expenses unforeseen so if i recap what exactly is the four categories being identified by kakabo is that said 
the first category is your must have which you must have to spend so you have to identify what are your expense categories onto that what are the essential things for example you need to have some some rent you have to pay the schooling you have to pay some food expenses you want to have the optional aspect is specifically highlight that for example which are not your need but actually is your uh, uh, want for example you might have found that uh, there is certain uh, uh, sales discount is going on so although it is not essential for you but you like all right if I go for it maybe I'll get certain discount so this is an optional thing for you ascent entertainment is sometime you make your vacations plan and things like that so you identify okay what type of entertainment whether I would go for a movies or I will travel across the world or whatsoever so entertainment and extra unforeseen is that suddenly which was not planned it happened maybe the car has broken down maybe some sort of uh, God forbid some illness has came and we are not being ready for it so he said these four categories you have to identify and one of the important concepts would say don't go for any sort of uh, I'm say on the computers and things like that because at that time it was not the practice because they don't have that but the basic concept is he said make a ledger and identify these four categories and what you have to do you have to discipline yourself and on daily basis identify whatsoever the expense you are making and put it under these four, to four categories where it goes so once you are having a compilation of weekly then you actually can tabulate on a monthly basis so you have a monthly picture and you can identify how much I have spent on my essential how much percentage I have spent on my uh, optional and entertainment and extra and unforeseen so once you are getting a clarity in the long run it said that you can compile it till the year end and you can see the picture out of that 12 months which months you are having a saving goal and you are being able to achieve and which of the month which you are not been able to achieve and what was the reason you are not been able to achieve so that picture it has been there another aspect it said in Kakabo it said that whenever you are going to have any of the expenses a very interesting concept it said it said go with the 10 second rule what is a 10 second rule it identified that for example if you have been going for a shopping and you have a shopping list in your hand and you have been going through the aisle and you identify oh there is some interesting stuff over here I have to buy it that concept say that's go and hold that item just for the 10 second and have a question in your mind ask this question why I want to buy this for example I'm being at the aisle and I just got some stuff which was not and you said I just hold it and I have to ask a question ask a question why I want to buy this and if you don't have any solid justification or solid logical answer for that leave it because the interesting concept it say that majority of the decision which we get into the into the buying process these are not a logical that are not based on a logical reasoning they are based on emotional reasoning and he said the moment you get into the trap of buying something fancy looking in front of you get your brain back into the logical mode ask a question why you want it and if you had a solid answer for it buy it if it is not leave it so 10 second rule it has identified over there second thing he said when you are going to buy something which is really very expensive and you had a very burning desire to get for it he said all right make a decision that you are going to buy for it for example you like to buy for some um, uh, I'm going to say new uh, version of mobile you have been super excited about it or some of the expensive clothing etc he said make a decision but hold it for 30 days if and this is a discipline he said you have to do it if there is something which is really very expensive out of the budget hold for 30 days and after 30 days if you have the similar amount of emotion that similar level of desire to go for it then he said go and buy that because this is something which is worth investment and this is you are not going to repent and on a day-to-day -day basis whenever you are having go with the 10 second rule in which you can identify so what we have learned in Kakabo that you have to have a goal you have to have four specific categories in which you can log in your expenses then you can on a daily basis go for a 10 second rule and a 30 days and a process of validating whether you are going to buy it or not this is going to bring a lot of things